Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 23rd of August 2021. I'm going to use the Golden Dawn Tarot today. Let's see what these cards have to say about Monday. So I'm just going to shuffle these and let's have a look. First card is the Two of Swords. Okay. The Queen of Wands. And the Six of Swords. Okay. The Six of Swords is usually a card that has to do with a journey and travel. And here I think we've got, is it Salome with the um, decapitated head? So I'm just going to have to see what that's about. That's a little bit unusual. They've changed that. Okay. So the Two of Swords is usually a woman who's blindfolded and is kind of in a dis defensive mode because she doesn't have a clear understanding of what is going on and she's trying to protect herself. What's interesting is that we have three women here and the message with that is there seems to be something that is coming into your life that you have to deal with. It's not something that you're creating or putting out there. It's something where you're being reactive and there's either information or news or some sort of a circumstance influencing your life. And it's about trying to deal with that in the best way you can. So with the Two of Swords, we see a very full moon here. So lots of energy coming in. And she's almost like um, bathing in the moonlight there. She's got a s two swords crossed. And then we have this big um, red rose at the center. So what she's trying to protect, I think, is her heart and her ability to love and her sense of being safe and secure in life. And it seems to be um, under attack and something may be scary and dark and unseen, and it may seem to threaten your well-being. So with that, if you don't understand everything that's going on, there may be a tendency to shut down and to say, oh, this is uncertain. It's making me feel a little bit anxious. I don't want to engage with it at all. I'm just going to turn my back on it and ignore it completely. But the message here with these cards is that you are much better off actually engaging with what's going on and trying to understand it because you don't really need to protect your heart. What will happen by working through the process is that something will ignite in you and it's going to awaken a real passion. So the instinct is counterintuitive or counterproductive because it's telling you shut down and protect yourself. And the reality is that if you open up and you let yourself be influenced, you'll find something within that's a real desire and a real passion that you weren't aware of before. So a lack of clarity and a little bit of uncertainty is not a bad thing on Monday. Actually, it's the relationship of navigating that uncertainty that's going to lead you to this place of fire and clarity. So you're on a bit of a journey, just like the Six of Swords usually says, by deliberately opening up to things which may surprise you or which may even be a little bit unsettling because you have no idea of what's going on. It may be your first time in a new situation or dealing with some new form you have to fill out or new information and you're going to try and get through it best you can. Go with the process and realize you're on the right track because the Queen of Swords is in charge of the suit of the Queen of Wands. I hope I said the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is in charge of the suit of Wands, which has to do with fire. And she is living her life purpose. She's creative. She does the things that she wants to do. She leads other people. She influences and inspires the lives of other people. And the Queen of Wands really is the one card that's about living life for yourself and making it fun and positive and creating meaning out of things that are confusing. So that's one message in itself that don't despair if things don't make sense. You'll get to a point of real clarity. The only thing you have to do is to continue engaging with the process and to not stick your head in the sand and to just wish things away and to ignore them. So engage with the process. The other thing is that 
by engaging with the process, you discover something that was hidden from you before, and it gives you a real sense of direction. And then the Six of Swords. Okay, so I just, because I am not so keen personally on the cards being unnecessarily gruesome. I, I mean, I think you can get your point across without being gruesome. So usually the Six of Swords, we've got um, someone in a boat who's kind of in mourning or fleeing a bad situation and is moving to another situation in the hope that things will get better. Here, I suppose, the journey is about revenge. She's um, put out the word that she wants this person's head, someone who's wronged her, and the journey then becomes this whole chase of tracking down the, the person who's, you know, whatever, like however you're going to try and justify murder. <laughs> so, so he may have wronged her and she's put the word out to get his head. And I suppose that that represents the end of this negative journey. And she's able to get to a point of completion. And let's say this guy was going after her and being just as violent, then a sense of dread and this huge burden is dropped because you get to a completion point. And the, oh, this may be a little bit literal for you guys, but the message I'm getting is that if you don't know what's going on, there's no point in, first of all, trying to understand immediately if there is a journey to, if there is a whole process that you have to go through first. So take your time and don't, as such, chop your own head off if you don't understand things in the way that you feel you should. So there's a discrepancy between what you expect of yourself and what actually is going on. So be kind to yourself and go through the steps of whatever process is happening and realize that the meaning will reveal itself to you. I think that's really important. So the meaning will be revealed to you. You don't need to do something drastic. You don't need to try and cut the whole process short just because it's painful and uncertain. You know, like if you're going on a date with someone and immediately you're like, oh, I don't know if this other person likes me or not. So because I don't know, I'm just going to behave terribly because I might as well beat them to the punch. And just because you haven't got the outcome, you're sabotaging a situation which could be amazing just because you can't deal with the uncertainty of it. I think we've all done that. You know, there's some situation, the outcome is so important and it makes us so tense that rather than being disappointed by the actual outcome, we, in, we intervene and do something drastic so that we can try and save face or protect ourselves or whatever it may be. And the cards are saying that that is actually a really... That's frowned upon today. It's not going to help you, nor is it going to help the other person. So try and go through the process for what it is without influencing it too much and see what becomes clear to you and what is revealed to you. And stay away from arguments, extreme opinions, extreme views, extreme decisions, outrageous behavior, aggressive behavior, uh, trying to jump the gun, a lack of patience, all of those things which could really... Oh, look, I just noticed his dead body in the back. The card in itself is just incredibly extreme. And even the, the clothing and stuff, it all seems very... It seems, you know, stoked to the point of... <laughs> it, it's just a... It's a bit much. And I think the day is going to feel like it's a bit much, and that's why you want to shut down. So try and walk that tightrope of uncomfortable feelings until you get to a place of resolution and clarity. And don't sabotage yourself by jumping the gun. Number-wise, we have two and six is eight, and one is nine. Nine is spirituality and completion. So by going through a difficult process, you get to a place of understanding, and then you're not going to have to answer these questions all the time, and you're not going to have to be in the dark anymore because you get something and you'll able you'll be able to run with it rather than to feel like you're tapping around in the dark trying to figure it all out interesting so it's really about your perspective and keeping your cool and trying to be disciplined and staying away from any extremes really because extreme outcomes i think extreme behaviors and actions will create extreme outcomes on this day 
So I hope you have a good day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to audio reading with me. If you like this video, then please hit subscribe, share the video online and um, like, subscribe and share. Yes, please do that. That'd be awesome. Have a fabulous day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.